here. Um, so today I'm really, really excited and nervous at the same time because today I'm doing something different. Usually, you know, I go on toy hunts and I have been doing it for years and years and years on my ears on YouTube and on camera and off camera and, you know, even before YouTube and everything. Today, though, is my very first time going to a pin trading event and I will tell you more about it later but right now I'm in rush because the event is until 4 p.m. but right now and as I'm looking at the clock it's 3.06 um, I need to pay $5 admission fee and I don't think I'll be staying there for long initially I was like you know debating if I should come or not because I wanted to come but I wasn't sure how it was going to play out with um, pandemic but I saw a video posted on their Facebook group and it looked like everybody was social distancing and it was a very small gathering like very very small event so I felt safe enough to come I do have all of my stuff though like I have my mask and my hand sanitizer and everything if I need to wear gloves I also have gloves too if I go in there and I feel like it's overcrowded and I do not feel safe you know what forget that five dollar I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and walk back the other way but I'm here so let's go check it out and see how it is honestly I don't even know if they would let me record in there so I will ask before going in and recording and stuff because it's the securityest thing to do. All right, so I'm in Holiday Inn and it's at the end of this hallway, I was told. I am back home and um <laughs> okay so I have a lot to talk about I didn't get a lot of footage um at the event in the event hall because of a couple of reasons so when I did enter the hall I asked the lady who was in charge if I can record and she said you can record like you flipping the book or um like take pictures of the table and whatnot after asking the table vendor however she asked politely not to really record or take pictures of like the event hall because there are little children um running around and just because you know some parents do not feel comfortable she asked kindly not to and i totally understood i did ask some people at the table if i could flip through the books and you know record me flipping through the book but the thing is i quickly realized that it is really difficult to do it in one hand because as you can imagine um pins get pretty heavy when they're on pages i mean they're metal right so i was trying to hold my um phone on my one hand in my one hand and then the other hand i was trying to flip through and I got to a point where I was like feeling uncomfortable that maybe I might not be so careful and scratch somebody's precious pins. So I was really, really careful. I, I recorded a little bit of it, but then after I was a little bit hesitant, I stopped right away. But my experience was really positive. I was only there for like 35 minutes because um, Ryan and I had previous plans for later tonight. So. I wanted to be here on time for that so I didn't get to spend um, I guess full <laughs> full 50 minutes or so oh speaking of admissions um, I, I got there like around like 310 I think um, and they I, I, I I went up to um, like the front table and I said, okay, where do I pay for the registration? And he was like, you only have less than an hour. Just, just go ahead. Just go ahead. Which was really nice. So 
I saved five dollars, yes, which means that I spent that five dollars towards my pin. I wanted to show you guys some of the pins I got, but I actually brought my pin trading book. I will show you what's in here because this is the pin trading book that I carry with me um, when I go to the parks. I mean, I haven't been able to go to the parks in so long and I probably won't be able to go to parks for a while because of COVID pandemic and Ryan and I just don't feel safe going to um, the Disney parks just yet. Not just Disney parks, any parks actually. But this event, it seems like they do it every month. Actually, I think I left their business card in my car. I have to go get it. But they do this event monthly and my experience today was so positive that I think I'm going to go back every month. It, it's a very small event and everybody seemed to know each other, meaning that a lot of people going to this event are regulars, which is, I think, wonderful. I did bring my trading book with me. However, I was too shy to take it out and, you know, have them look at it because I quickly realized, <laughs> I mean, I already knew when I went in um, before going, I already knew. But like a lot of these people are serious collectors and they probably already have or gone through the pins that I already have. And I felt really, really, really um, shy about it. And you know, I am talking to my camera by myself in my room, in my comfort zone on this channel. So a lot of people think that I'm very um, outgoing and I am extroverted. But in reality, I'm very introverted. I am like extreme introvert. Um, I am just good at masking it because I've been a kindergarten teacher for a few years in the past and just like you know jobs and other things that I had to do have taught me to kind of push myself to kind of work through that but I'm a very extreme introvert and I my social anxiety at this event was so high not because I didn't feel comfortable but just because I was with people I didn't like I, I, I didn't know these people and it, I haven't really been to an event like this Ever. like this was my first event ever and everybody seemed to know each other I mean they all really seemed nice but I I didn't know anybody so I was like okay it's okay everything is okay elastic you are 33 years old am I 33 or 34 I don't know one of those two you can do this so like I tried to take it really slow um, I was only able to look at two or three booths but you know from those two or three boots i i was really happy to look at all these pretty pins and i will be going back next month anyway so even if i didn't look through all of the tables i'm okay um so here is my pin book come on focus camera focus okay so here are my oh so here are my pins on the first page and then here are more pins on the second page and then i have the third page here i hate this pin book once upon a time i used to love this book but then i quickly realized how inconvenient it is to put pin backs on the back it is just really inconvenient next month hopefully i'll have better traders in there because i do i think i do need to go through my current um like little pin bin and see which one i want to keep because there were pins that i purchased a while ago that i liked at the time but now that i'm thinking about it i'm like i don't really i don't really care for that one too much like there's a game console one of um ariel really cool pin really cool concept but not really my thing i don't really collect little mermaid so i could part with that so like all of those probably will, will go in there um and i will bring them for um the next event next month and hopefully i'm like my goal is to be able to trade at least one pin for that trading experience away from the park i, I would love for that to happen but I wanted to show you the pins I got. Um, these I did pay for today. <laughs> but I had that extra $5, mind you, because I didn't have to pay admission. So I got this fantasy pin. It's actually a really big pin. Can you see? I love Stitch, as you guys can see. But I don't really collect Stitch pins because I just feel like I will overwhelm myself too much if i start collecting pins of stitch as well but this pin was so cute that i just could not pass it up and it was fantasy and i paid 30 dollars for him and i think he is totally worth it 
the fantasy pin creator didn't put um, the imprint on the back so I have no idea who the artist is which is really sad but it's an amazing pin and I love it the lady that I actually got this pin from she was so 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 nice that I was like asking how much would you want for this pin and she said there are two types of tables at this event uh, and I have really apologized if I am talking too much in this video but I just wanted to explain everything and you know share the new information that I learned because I'm so new to this hobby and I know there are people out there who are just like me who probably got into this hobby during pandemic and I know there are other newbies out there who would you know really like to hear this kind of information I certainly would I was scouring the internet and looking on YouTube for newbie information so at this event and i don't know if all events are like this because i know there are a few more um trading events in orlando area which i will go to those events too but like i said if i go in there and i feel like they're too crowded i'm gonna walk the other way you know safety first but lady at the table where i got this pin from she told me there are two types of tables at the event um the sponsored table and like a trading table so the sponsored um, table are the people who paid more for the table and they can actually like put price on items and actually can sell the traders table they pay less for it and they're not allowed to put price on the pins or items that they have however people can you know offer tell you an offer and they could like tell you no it, it should be a little higher or lower you know and so you guys kind of work like that but she's not allowed to tell you i will sell that to you for like ten dollars or fifteen dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars you're not allowed to do that when she told me that i i was completely honest with her i'm like i will be honest with you i am very new to this hobby so i do not know how to like kind of price things and what would be an appropriate offer for the pins that i am interested in and she was very understanding and she was really helpful and she was kind of like okay so for this pin i paid this is like a uh like a set pin and i paid like 50 or 40 dollars for um this pin set that came with this many pins and this is one of them so how would you like to uh offer what would you like to offer me <laughs> so she was so 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 nice and i appreciated it so much oh my gosh i forgot her name it's, it had an l in it gosh oh my gosh when i do go back next month and she is there i will ask her name again she was so sweet she was there with her husband but yeah so i had to kind of offer her but she was helping me and it was really nice and i and i just like really cherished that she took time to explain things to me at that table i also got this pin um i love zootopia i absolutely Zo love zootopia and i have been looking at like pinpicks.com and you know pin trading database and everything and um there are not many pins if not i think this might be the only set that comes with um judy's parents on the pin so i also got this pin from her table and i don't know if you guys can tell but this part is clear and there is a screen printing of young judy on that pin and i i loved it so much there was um like a similar one like basically the entire thing was the same except the glass part um the stained glass is that what you call it stained glass part and the screen printing on it was um uh, nick wild i love nick wild but this young judy i just fell in love with it so i had to get this pin so i got this pin from her table as well the nice lady who took time to explain things to this newbie soul thank you um so i also got this pin and then I was looking around and because I went there so late, a lot of people were um, already cleaning up the table and whenever they were cleaning up the table, I didn't want to like want to make them feel like they have to stop for me because I'm looking at their pin binder. So I went from one end to like all the way to the end. So this was I think the third table I saw. So I was looking through her pin binder and um, there was another person that was looking at her other binders and um, she was like, are all of these your fantasy pins in the glass case and she said yes and i was like "Ooh, fantasy pins i want to look to see what she has and once she left i went to the glass case and i looked at i was looking at her fantasy pins and i found charlotte oh 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I absolutely love Charlotte. I have a very small collection of Charlotte going on. There are not many pins of Charlotte that are made to begin with, which I kind of love because I love the feeling of collecting something that are not vastly popular or massly produced. Um, and I love the feeling of hunt for it, right? Toy collector. I can't help it. But this fantasy pen, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And she was like, would you like to look at it? Would you want me to take it out? I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, can, can I look at it? And then I held it and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. And she's like, I was like, how much i i mind you when i did go i had a set budget i didn't want to spend too much money so i was like looking and i was like how much would you want for this this pin because she was a sponsored table she was able to tell me the price she wasn't a trading table so she was like you could have that for ten dollars i was like ten dollars can i have her so i got my charlotte and she's gonna go in my pin book oh my goodness yeah, I actually have like an ISO. <laughs> it is it is a very um hopeful ISO. Some of the fun of collecting things is having ISO and eventually work your way to getting them. So I put together my Charlotte ISO and you probably will see it right here. <laughs> but yeah, so those are all of the pins I got from this trading event. But oh, hold on, before I forget, let me quickly go get that postcard so that I can show you the information. So if you are near Orlando area and you want to attend the event, you can do so. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the postcard, a business card thingy. If you want to pause the video to read it, you can do so. But this is the event and um there's right there january 16th is their next event if you hear me out of breath it's because i had to run downstairs go to the garage and get this pandemic i was already lacking in exercise and now i'm like total couch potato so yeah i will definitely try to go to their january event i know there is a different event on i believe january 12th so we'll see how it goes but um i want to try going to their monthly event oh my gosh this video might have been all over the places in terms of like uh audio and also uh focus and i really apologize i'm trying to come back to youtube and i forgot how to do a lot of things any poo i hope you guys found this video to be informative and i hope you guys enjoyed it as always thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye guys